Hi everyone, this is Alex Tardy, meteorologist with National Weather Service. Want to give you an update. As of Friday, warming is continuing to be expected through this weekend and early next week. Another heat wave is the bottom line. Let's take a look at a few things. Here are the key points. A warming trend, but mainly dry. Uh, we are going to see minimum humidity of 30 to 40 percent. Uh, the highest across the coastal areas. Cumulus clouds will be building over our mountains, so uh, we're not going to be dry like we would be in a Santa Ana wind event. The heat alerts are in effect across Southern California, so make sure you take a look at the latest heat messages for excessive heat. The warmest temperatures will range from 6 to 16 degrees above average this weekend through early next week. The temperatures across the immediate coast will have the least departure from normal and the most departure from normal over inland valleys, mountains. Here's an example using digitalweather.gov where you can see the humidity values. I took Sunday afternoon at 2 o'clock as an example during the peak heating showing humidity over inland areas around 20 uh, but much higher humidity along the immediate coasts due to that marine air. The heat alerts that are in effect look like this. You can visit weather.gov for more information, but uh, they are in effect for the deserts, the valleys, and coastal areas. Okay, what are we expecting? What's causing this warm up in this heat event? upper level high pressure area a dome of hot air is going to build this weekend right over southern california it's going to be centered right over southern california it'll have impact across the great basin and central california as well as northern mexico as well but the center will be right over southern california so this is the general weather pattern as we go through the weekend into monday while the dome of hot air generally weakens with time, it does remain over Southern California. At the same time, we see some high pressure that sets up at the surface across the Great Basin area, and that produces a little bit of offshore flow. So the combination of the two squashes the marine layer and reduces our daily sea breeze. That's what leads to hot temperatures. The hot air mass, the weak offshore flow, and then squashing ultimately that marine layer. Let's look at some temperature details. So for Sunday, these are high temperatures expected. Most areas of the Inland Empire are over 100. The lower deserts, Coachella Valley, San Diego deserts, getting between 106 and 110. Our Inland Valley areas well into the mid and upper 90s and then we'll be well in the 80s along the immediate coast. Now when we roll into Monday, the start of next week, even hotter. You can see some places in the Inland Empire are getting up near 105. Our desert areas remaining 106 to 110 and Inland Valley areas such as Anaheim getting in the upper 90s. Escondido, Ramona, El Cajon, upper 90s. You have to go immediately to the beach areas to really get relief where it's not out of the 80s. Now, when we roll in further next week, Tuesday, it looks like a repeat. So Monday and Tuesday, the hottest days, upper 90s, inland valleys, inland empire 100 to 105, and then the deserts, not just hot because they're a desert, but hot because of this dome of high pressure this dome of hot air or heat wave. So really hot temperatures, above average temperatures this weekend. And looks like it's going to peak out Monday and Tuesday and likely last all the way through Wednesday midweek. Here's what we're concerned about. The heat risk levels are going to increase. So this weekend, we start seeing a lot of orange across Southern California. By the time we get to Monday, the start of the new work week, we see widespread orange or moderate with pockets and areas of high heat risk. 
So once you get in the high level of orange and the red level, that becomes dangerous for everyone if you have to have outdoor activities such as recreation, work, um, if you don't have air conditioning, that type of thing. Once we get into these levels of moderate and especially high, it's dangerous for all groups, not just the elderly young, not just those that are unprepared, but even those who have to be exposed to outdoor activities um, and un unable to take frequent breaks or, or escape with shade. So please keep that in mind, dangerous levels of heat across the inland valleys from San Bernardino Riverside to Anaheim, going all the way down into El Cajon region uh, just east of downtown San Diego. Here's the numbers uh, on the coast, 80 to 90. The inland valleys of San Diego and Orange, 90 to 100. The Inland Empire, 95 to 105. And this is going to be for multiple days, this weekend and early next week, Monday, Tuesday. Just a slight break maybe by Wednesday. The mountains will have some relief, but still in the 80s most areas. High deserts, well into the 90s. And our usual hot deserts between 102 and 110. So these are dangerously hot temperatures. These are much above average by five to 15 degrees for late September. Let's take a look if we're gonna get some relief as we end September going to early October. The short answer looks like some relief, but still remaining above average early October. The core of the heat wave early October shifts into the northern Great Basin and northern plains as shown by the deep red area. Also note the above average uh, precipitation thunderstorm potential continuing late September, early October for the Great Basin area, particularly uh, northern Arizona and Utah. Check the latest information at weather.gov. That's will be the alerts will all be posted real-time weather information, including heat risk information. Weather.gov, San Diego. And you can also visit us on social media, Twitter and Facebook, at NWS San Diego. Stay safe. Take breaks from this hot weather.